Thanks for nothing, Daddy. <laughs> what the hell is this? Why, my inheritance, of course. I'm sorry, Grandfather. For what? Lila. Yeah, seems I was mistaken. Daddy did not cut me out of the will entirely. No stock, no money, no personal possessions. A jar of mother's relish. Okay, well, yeah, I've heard the stories, of course. Everyone seemed to be crazy about the stuff. Yes, when the family had a reversal of fortune, thanks to Monica, of course, mother decided to market her relish. It was such a fabulous success that she put us back in the black and she rebuilt ELQ. I never cared for it, which Daddy knew. So I guess giving me a jar was his last joke on me. Now, Grandfather was a shrewd old bird. There must be something more to it. Yeah, he wants me to open a hot dog stand. I was apologizing. See, the plan was to convince Grandfather that I'm not a complete screw-up and do something to prove that, uh, well, prove that I can make him proud. Obviously, I didn't have the time. You know, and this whole thing with the stock, I mean, I don't deserve this. Oh, come on. The will clearly states every living grandchild gets 12%. Grandfather didn't think I was alive. I mean, you never intended including me. So you never got a chance to prove yourself to Grandfather. Come on, there's still time to prove yourself to Michael, to yourself. I'd like to, but I'm gonna have to beat the charges that I'm facing first. Well, Diane Miller's representing you, right? The woman is a shark. I sure hope you're right. Because between you and me, Sky, I don't want to go to prison. What do you want? I want to take the inheritance the grandfather gave me, and I want to do something good for the family. Something my son can be proud of. So what's stopping you? Tracy may not have got many shares, but she's still the CEO of ELQ. As long as she's in power, I'm not going to get any traction. And she's not going to give up control until she's in here. What if she were forced to? If someone were in a position to leverage Tracy out of ELQ, I'd, I'd be interested in hearing about that. Well, a while back, I came into some information about Tracy. Do tell. During her short marriage to Gino Salito, she managed to get her hands on a substantial amount of his cash, which she then invested in ELQ. Wait, wait, are you, are you telling me that Tracy laundered mob money through ELQ? Wait, that, that's a felony. I mean, that's a major SEC violation. Isn't it, though? <laughs> I mean... I mean, if Grandfather knew that, he'd be rolling over in his grave. Oh, Grandfather knew about it because I told him. He needed to have his company protected in case there was an SEC investigation. Oh, wait a second. What, he didn't do anything about it? He let her get away with it? Oh, I think Grandfather thought Tracy got exactly what she deserved. When she was forced to marry a mobster named Anthony Zagara. Mother, I know that you're very disappointed. I mean, you and Grandfather had your share of fights, but deep down, you loved each other. So it's only natural for you to think that he would leave you something to acknowledge that bond. I did love him. And I'm sure that there is some mystical message in this gift, but for the life of me, I have no idea what it is. I'm sorry. You want to know the most frustrating part? I miss him so damn much, I can't be mad at him. On the bright side, he may not have bequeathed you any shares, but... At least you still are, CEO. Maybe not for long. I'm grateful for your support, but as far as ELQ is concerned, I do not have enough votes to hold on as CEO. I could get thrown out by the first board meeting. Now, you know what? I wouldn't worry about it. Because the way Grandfather doled out all the shares, I think it would be very hard for anyone to get a majority. Unless they form an alliance and they block vote. Ah. And I wonder who would do that. I'm sure AJ is plotting a takeover even as we speak.
So you're telling me that this uh, Anthony Zaccaro blackmailed Tracy into marrying him? Oh, well, there's absolutely no other reason Tracy would ever marry Anthony Zaccaro. I know he had the information because I gave it to him. Sky, that's... I know it wasn't exactly my finest hour. I was going to say inspired. I mean, if there's anyone on this planet who deserves to be blackmailed into marrying some lowlife, it's Tracy. Yeah, well, don't gloat too much. The marriage only lasted a few months. Zaccaro was murdered. Was Tracy arrested? Of course she was, but they didn't have enough proof or evidence, so they let her go. Well, do you know if the case is still open? It sure is. Let me ask you something. Do you think it's in really bad taste that we're plotting to take over the company this soon after Grandfather was born? Are you kidding me? I think you'd be doing the family a favor if you toppled Tracy. You know, Sky, if I could get her in a VLQ, I know I could do something good for that company. Unfortunately, I no longer have the information I used against Tracy. The car took it from me. And I have absolutely no idea what he did with it before he was murdered. Let's not forget that A.J. is a kidnapper, an attempted murderer. He's facing some serious prison time. Yeah, in a perfect world. But Diane Miller is mounting his defense. Monica is footing the bill. He could get off. And if he does, he's going to make a beeline for ELQ. He won't have the support. In the Quartermain family, the name AJ is synonymous with screw-up. Do not underestimate Monica. She has been waiting AJ's entire life to get him into that CEO chair. They'd have to convince a lot of people that AJ is capable of running this company. I just don't see that happening. If I'm going to prove that I'm an asset to the family and the company, I'm going to have to do with my own shares. Really? Well, then why stop at 12? Mm -hmm. Why not 20, 50? Come on, you heard the terms of the will. I mean, I'm lucky to have even been included. Oh, false modesty is such a waste of time. We need to figure out how to get more stuff behind you. I'm sure that AJ is already colluding with Sky. Never mind that neither Sky nor Lila Ray have one ounce of quarter main blood. Together, they're worth 18%. You and I together make 24%. Now we had Lila Ray, we're up to 30. Your mother brings in another 5%. Mm -hmm. So if we find another 16. Then you've got yourself a takeover. Sky would side with AJ and Monica. But you would have Dylan and me and Brooklyn. That's only 30%. Maybe I could win Alice back or have Luke work her for me. Then I'd have 35. Michael has another 6%. We're 41% and counting. I think Maya would side with me. We became, if not friends, friendly the last time Luke tried to trick me into marrying him. I don't even want to know. Okay, so with Maya's 6%, that will give you a total of 41%. Still not enough for me to retain control. But I need over 50% to oust Tracy. And assuming that Ned, Brooklyn... Dylan, Maya, and Alice's shares will go to Tracy. Really? Alice? Oh, you have to understand the dynamic. Alice is crazy about Luke. All Tracy has to do is use Luke as an intermediary, and the shares are Tracy's. Which only leaves Sam. She's got Jason's 12%, and baby Daniel. That's another 6%. Why well, are you going to forget about Sam or son? She hates me for what I did to Jason. Sam would never back me. I blackmailed her back in the day, and I also never made it a secret what I thought of her husband. Well, there's your challenge. If you really want to prove to the family that you want to help ELQ, find a way to get to Sam. If you're serious about retaining control of ELQ, find a way to get to Sam. If you mean what you say, that you've changed, that you have the company's best interest at heart, why shouldn't you run ELQ? I'm not going to do it. Ned and Dylan aren't going to do it, which means realistically, you have to step up. Oh, I would love to do that, but first I have to beat the charges that I'm facing, and that is a big if. And when that time comes, and it will, you will have my full support. <clears throat> I have no idea how I'm going to get Sam on my side, but I am not giving in without a fight. Well, you have some time to work on Sam. AJ's got his plate full with all these charges he's facing. Don't count on it. He's going to leave his defense to his lawyer and go after ELQ. Well, if it comes to that, you can count on me to rally the troops to your side. I'm glad you're here, Ned. I'm just sorry it took Grandfather's death to bring me back. Ned? Yeah? That was
was a terrible mother. Only sometimes. You can be difficult. And you can be amazing. And Dylan and I love you. It may not have seemed like it, but I really only wanted what was best for you and your brother. We know that. And I thought Daddy only wanted what was best for me. But no more. You know what? I think I understand why Grandfather gave you this. Club soda, please. Sky Quarter, Maine. You look good. You too. Much better than the last time I saw you. Oh, do you mean when you left me tied to the bedpost and went off to meet with Anthony? Mm, to my genuine regret, which is why I'm here. I'd love to make it up to you. Here you are. <laughs> That's what you meant when you said you knew why Daddy wanted me to have the pickle, Lila? That's as good a reason as any. For you, maybe. Mm. This is better than I remembered. Delicious. It is delicious. And you know what? Monica doesn't get any, no matter how much she begs. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This guy's right. I am a quarter man, and I'm starting to understand just what that means. Grandfather, I promise I will be worthy of my inheritance. There was, um, more than one reason I tied you to that bedpost, and if you allow me to demonstrate, we could just slip into one of the state rooms right now and just you're get good. out. You know that? But I know what you're up to. You gave Anthony the goods on Tracy, and now you want the record back. Can't blame a girl for trying. You're not getting anything out of me. Does that mean you have it? Guess you never know. <laughs> 